out. <laughs> All right, I'm good. I'm just trying to. Hmm, I'm trying to think of ways to get rid of this burn overall. On your Blood legs. Arms. Time. Skin. Take the skin off. Yeah. You don't need you're it. Right. Yeah, you don't need your you skin. You need your skin. I mean, do any of you guys have like a knife or something? I can just go <laughs> to my car yeah, and take really... it off right now. <laughs> uh, um, ah, it's, it's the smallest po <laughs> and dullest pocket knife ever. Oh god. <laughs> It's gonna be 27 hours. It'll be here. like razor burns trying yeah. to get through it. Oh, Brady, no! <laughs> God, honestly, the the best way I know of um, it's it's, like, it's a it's a plus because it has really tiny scissors that can help you as well. Yay! I can't remember. Ooh. There's a hack about it that something mm. uh that you can do something yeah, that'll I'll be help hacking. like that was the point. Yeah. Hacking off, this leg. hacking off the leg. Hello, everyone. Help me remove my skin, please. I mean, welcome back to Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Uh, Hello, guys. Are you looking up a yeah, I'm looking to train okay. how. Yeah, because I remember seeing something about. I know there's something when you get your wisdom teeth out. You, if you eat a lot of pineapple before or something like that, like it helps with the swelling. Uh, but I don't know about are sunburn. Are you sure that's wisdom teeth? It was either wisdom teeth or something. Yeah, because it was the because pineapple is for seed. I know. I know. It also it might. Oh, yeah. you're, you're saying there is a second one. Well, okay. Your wisdom teeth are full sure. of semen. <laughs> In fact, all of your teeth are. Is that hard what a mammal is? Hard white, yeah. <laughs> Hardened semen. Cum mouth. The te teeth are stored in the ball. Ah! <laughs> ah! God! <laughs> no! <laughs> I'd rather have balls are stored in the teeth. Oh, I gotta remember that one. <laughs> uh, um, but it was some sort of hack about that where it was like, it was some sort of fruit that would help with the swelling. Um, and I thought there was something as well for like oh, aloe and or for like uh, sunburn in order to help with like you'll it'll just go away like quicker. I know putting a warm but... spoon on a bug bite can like drastically yeah, reduce, reduce the it. swelling. Oh, yeah. that's cool. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah I think the oh, the only thing I know is aloe and cold showers. But yeah, if there is a fruit. I mean, I'll take that. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. I, I thought I saw something. Uh, coconut oil, I think, is a good thing as well. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, take your skin off. Um, yeah. But there's also... You want to make sure you're hanging out to dry. Oh, yeah, drinking a shit ton of to... water. Just drinking a lot of yes, water? Yes, because your skin is dried out. So if you drink a shit ton of water, that'll help. Yeah. That, was a, that was a huge thing, yes. It's a good thing you have like a... A oh. gallon jug next to you. Oh, absolutely. That's a 64 ounce. That's yeah. How much water I need in a day. Yeah, sunburn draws moisture away from your skin. Drinking plenty of fluids, fluids and electrolytes can help rehydrate your skin. So if you do like Gatorade and water or like Pedialyte and shit like that. Gatorade. Gatorade would be good. Yeah. Maybe I'll pick some up. Yeah, that was what it was. It was drinking water. Um, <laughs> was, it was. That's what you want to do. Yeah. Drink uh, water. Drink water. That thing that you do to survive. Yeah, the thing that you need to I do. See. Genuinely, I do it a lot more often now, and it helps a lot. I don't. I, drink I still a, hate water. I drink a lot of water you're, now. You're a madman. But I don't... I, if I don't drink enough water now for a day, I'll notice it. Like, the other day, I didn't drink it, and my brain was just foggy all day. And I was like, ugh. Because it's definitely... Because I realized... I made this realization where I was like... You need water to survive. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I was like, you genuinely, it's like the same as watering a plant. You need water to operate at your full capacity. And if you're not drinking enough water, then you're just not going to be at your best. So I was just like, I'm going to just drink more water. Um, and I still don't drink uh, the required amount because it's a lot of water that you need to, for the required amount, which I think is dumb, but like, whatever. Uh, I can tell but you I drink exactly how much it is because that's what I drink in a day mm -hmm. now. Yeah. It is 64 ounces. Yes. Yeah. You drink one of those a day? Yes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's all that's, I need. I, I probably get drink like those. two of those in Snapple a day. Yeah. Hey, that's got water <laughs> but in it. But sir, that's so diluted. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's still like... It's got an A in it, like so, water, yeah. so same thing. Oh, and to answer your thing from earlier, Brady, uh, if I hang it out to dry, first I have to run it through the spin cycle. Yes. Nice. But I was kind of hoping, while you had your phone out, Nick, if uh -huh. you could look up whether I can do heavy soak or light soak when washing skin. Oh. I don't know. Heavy soak. I haven't done it in a while. Light soak when washing uh, skin with sunburn. Let's see. Very important. Um, let's see. Um, taking a sh cold shower or help or bath. Um, let's see. Shower. Or washing machine. Oh, washing machine. Yes. <laughs> You have to take the skin off first, then. Oh! Yeah. You don't want to get into the shower with your skin on. Oh, clearly. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to lie. I didn't... I was just checking up real shit. Yeah. 
I was like, oh yeah, like what do you want to do? Like a heavy shower, like like with like like a lot of water or like a slow trickle or something. That's what I was thinking. No, I see. I okay. see what you were saying. Okay. I wanted to call I get, back yeah, to yeah. Brady's hang out to dry. Yeah. Well, you gotta yeah you gotta wash it off somehow. But um. Maybe I'll just take a hose. Yeah. To it's, it. So it's that one. You just fill one of those up a day, and then that's all. You just mm -hmm. drink through that. I'm gonna need to yeah, get one of those. What if what if you get to the end of the day and you have drank it all? Do you just chug the rest of it yes. before you go to bed? Uh, yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and sometimes it'll be like I haven't <coughs> drank all of it for that day, so instead I will just finish that in the morning, and then when I fill it up, I'll be like, okay, I'll just try to drink the whole thing, mm -hmm. and it's more likely I'll just get to the same exact point yeah. it was. Because mm -hmm. right now I fill up three Nalgene's, and I'm supposed to have four a day, so I'm at least doing three at like beginning third of the day, middle third of the day, and, and last third of the day. Yeah, it's like a big water bottle. Okay. Um, it's like a company, and they have if you fill up four of those, then you're good. But feel, honestly, filling up one would be way easier because then I feel like I would just be able to drink it throughout the day and be like not worried about drinking it in segments or whatever. Yeah, because I um, had a, I had a problem with but, me, like not drinking enough water because Corinne got me this really nice, but like pretty thin hydro flask. Uh huh. Um, I really do like it, but it's uh it doesn't hold a lot of water, and I forget oh, to refill yeah, yeah, yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. That makes sense. Um, uh, that's just a problem. But yeah, the cool thing is too, you can get like Mio and stuff like that. Or um, oh, Mio, my mom has this stuff that you can get. That's like it's like a sweet tea type thing. So you could basically spritz yeah, it into like, water to yeah. make it Snapple. But like, so that way you have. Is that any water. different than just having a Snapple? I think because it doesn't. It probably won't have as much sugars. It's water and it, flavored like and I, Snapple. Yeah. Instead of a mixture. I think I think Snapple probably has a little bit of water, and then it's mostly like concentrates and things. But I guess it is like a tea. It I don't is. really know. It's actually, it's, they pride themselves on their all natural ingredients. Yeah, so you might be getting a good bit yeah. of water from that, actually. Yeah, actually, you're um, right. So it might be sort of the same thing. And I know, it's uh, black tea and something else. It's probably green tea. Um, but they're both, they, they both have some really good things in them for you. Yes, they, yeah. They use, like, green tea or black tea as a base? Uh, let me look at the bottle. Or something? That's cool. Oh, but yeah, you might have a good bit of water, actually, in there, so that might be pretty good. Um, but yeah, I want to get something like that, so I'm going to have to check out a, a big-ass uh, mm -hmm. one that I can just yeah, carry around all made day. Made from black and green tea. Nice. Interesting. Uh, it says, it starts with the finest tea leaves and is made from filtered water, sugar, citric acid, tea, and natural flavors. Nice. That's cool. You hear that? There's no corn in there at all. No yeah. corn. Fuck the corn. That's a rare, rare in this yes. day and age. Something yes. that doesn't have corn in it. Yes. Corn syrup, do you mean? Um, corn anything. Corn, yeah. Corn starch, corn syrup. Because it's the oh, easiest. Yeah, but yeah. Right. We can make so much corn. <laughs> yeah. It's it's the easiestly like produced crop or fucking whatever. It's it, it can grow so quickly and so easily, requiring like so little. Yeah. And we can like change its genetics mm. so easily as well mm. that we can basically adjust it to do whatever we want. Yeah. Did you know that there's a method to grow beetroot um, in a black room with a candle and it grows the beetroot so fast that you can hear it growing? <gasps> What? Yeah, it grows them in like a day, and you literally, it's by candlelight, it's some like old farmer trick or something, but you like grow, and, and it's like scientifically proven a thing, you grow it, and it grows so fast you can hear it growing. That's awesome. That's insane. It's, yeah. I, is it like a special type of beetroot? Um, like, no, I think it's, um, grow, let's see, I think it's like I, act, I, that'd be cool to try. By I, that's a good candle. science experiment. Why didn't they do um, that in school? That'd be awesome. That, they never um, do the interesting stuff, man. Never. That would have been so cool to be like, listen, you can hear it grow. Growing Amazing. plant. Um, I know beetroots and potatoes and stuff are like the only things you can grow in space. Growing plant. Specifically on Mars, because the soil is actually reasonable there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that Did makes you, sense. Did yeah. you see the Martian, too? Huh? Mm. Did you see the Martian, too? No. Oh. I, yes, did, I had to do, exactly a, I had to do, do a, tech, a tech experiment. Oh, no, it's rhubarb. Uh, Sorry. Oh, rhubarb. It's rhubarb. The um, forced rhubarb, a vegetable deprived of sunlight for extra sweetness, has been eaten in Yorkshire since the 19th century. Um, I think a lot of people eat rhubarb, do they? I honestly, you said rhubarb, and I was like, isn't that a flower? <laughs> yeah. Um, it? Apparently, it's a vegetable. Yeah, growing rhubarb by candlelight. Let me see if I can find the thing that talks about it. Um, also, why would it grow faster by candlelight? I have no idea. That is a good um, yeah, it's called forced rhubarb. Um, let's see. 
See if we can find something about it. Um. Yeah. Um. Is the bridge gonna come out of the lava? Yeah, a, a visit to uh, rhubarb forcing yeah. sheds near Wakefield. Um. As a fellow rhubarb lover, my sister came too. We were both eager to hear the forced rhubarb popping as it grew. Um, we knew the method for the forcing rhubarb in our own gardens. Blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see what they do. Um, yeah, the trick of forcing rhubarb to produce an early cop was discovered by accident um, at the Chelsea Phys uh, Physic Garden in 1817. Um, oh. Let's see. Um... Yeah, let's see. Forcing rhubarb. Let me check up if I can find like the actual. Hmm. Rhubarb, radish, rutabaga, robitussin. Turn it up things that start with R. <laughs> like they, they're all very similar. Not like actually similar. Cause right. I don't. I don't actually know. Radish. I was gonna say radishes are. Oh. I don't know. Radishes are just weird onions, right? They do it by... Um, it says it forcing rhubarb creates stems that etiolate, which means, botanically speaking, uh, it's botanical speak for growing pale. The plants need light to photosynthesize, obviously, um, which make the foliage green, exclude every last shard of light, and plants can't photosynthesize. It sounds almost cruel, but your light-excluded plant will then desperately reach out in search of light, producing smooth pale stems in the process. Um, uh, for the gardener, these stretch stems have far less of the bitterness associated with rhubarb, um, and the pale stems need less sugar to balance their tartness. While the taste is altogether more delicate, combined with the tender texture, it, uh, it makes forced rhubarb a king among early crops. So, so basically, you you're starving the plant to the point where it quickly grows to get to the candle. Light. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So sort of like how and it a produces a sweeter will turn rhubarb to yeah. the sun to yeah. get more light, except for more on an extreme mm -hmm. scale. Yeah, and it grows so quickly that you can hear it grow. It'll be like, wow. Yeah, and it that's and it so it's so cool. That's interesting. Yeah, and, and that's and an experiment you can try. Rhubarb. You can do yes. that. Yes, go buy a yeah. rhubarb stem and keep it in the dark, and then light a candle. And then light a candle, and you can be like, <laughs> and hear it grow, and that's fucking that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, that's so crazy too. Like. Yeah, like, I think about it specifically with, like, my area of, like, of, of, of exp expertise in terms of, like, science and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, this is, like, I get that there's, like, hundreds of people, you know, like, you know, millions of people that just work together collectively on this one area. And, it get, and that's how we, like, have growth is we all, like, you know, oh, damn, we got fucked. Yeah, we're, uh... That's not good. We're getting there. Getting but yeah, man, we're learning things about rhubarb. Today. Yeah, well, and, and that's the thing. Like, like in like in, like science and stuff like that, people will crowd together and like like have like and and evolve the studies and all that kind of stuff and get uh, like super advanced in one section. And then I realized that that's happening in every section with like like freaking farming. Like that's insane that they like mm -hmm. everyone's crowded together to make farming as crazy as possible. And then like chemistry and then like like construction work and like every single like cool. like like activity that humans do is like crowdfunded to be the best it can be yeah which is right. which is ridiculous it's probably why humans are always so like depicted as so crazy and, and like we, we we work together so effectively to make yeah everything as best as we can yeah we're like an, an ant hive yeah <laughs> So that's why in like all the fantasy like star wars places and things like that they're always like humans are fucking crazy because we reproduce fast and we we evolve incredibly fast too, um, which is awesome. Well, you're iced. I'm gonna get iced. Gonna be hey, let's 46. go. I was, I was hoping as a water user herself, she'd be yeah, somewhat she would resistant. Be okay, to yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're um, resistant to their own their elements. magic damage. I just think their magic damage is a lot lower than their physical. Yeah. So I need to change oh. tactics here. I see. Boop. That cure on him. Get back to life, bitch. You're not Stand. dead yet. There we go. <laughs> show off the. I like how her hair work to do. Wiggles up. Yeah, it does. The yeah, cool yeah, it does a little that. wiggle. Having a um, healer on the team is so nice. That's BD. not a not healer. BD. Like what's his name? BD was BD. a healer. He was a healer. BD yeah. He was technically a healer. He, he was a healer by like much healing. default. Yeah. But he healed everyone all at the same time. Why did you? Oh. Oh, gave her lightning. I thought you just. 
struck her with lightning. <laughs> yeah, Why no, did you? She's fine. <laughs> oh my Christ! I was real confused. Is this oh, the good. Water Oh spray. god! Is this the boss of the area? I guess. Oh uh, yeah. Nice. These are the golems oh, that. Don't, don't physical. Okay. That doesn't start anything. That's fine. These were the golems that uh did 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 what's his name? Um, Dick. <laughs> did Dick. Did, yeah. Did, no, did, right. did Dick. Dalton. Dalton summoned uh, one of these. Yeah. yeah. Dalton summoned ass. one, and then he turned into two just now. Yeah. That's what happened. Oh god. Not radio waves. Uh, that's oh, damn fine, I think. Um, oh, yeah, you're gonna need a fucking do... kiss. Little kiss. Oh, kiss on the mouth. She kissed uh, herself. Gives her a little health. Yeah, yes. that's exactly what she did. And it got gave her health, but. Oh, um, nice. Two. And yeah, he's gonna hit him with a. Some zappy Bazinga zappy. beam. How much does that do? Three hundred. No. Uh, that's not a whole lot. I just yeah. looked at our time. We talked about rhubarb for like fifteen minutes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That <laughs> yeah. was. I was. I got so like entranced in rhubarb mechanics. I kind of forgot Dude, we were recording. I really want to know about rhubarb. Man. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. It's fucking sick. That's cool. I love rhubarb. We make a rhubarb pie, I think, right? Isn't that thing? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I've weird. heard of it, but I don't know. Rhubarb pie is a thing that exists. I don't know how it works. Yeah. I guess, I guess if the like rhubarb lettuce, you... Right? If, if you make the rhubarb like they do, and it's, it's supposed it's like to be sweet. sweet. Yeah. yeah. So I guess you could make a yeah. pie. Because rhubarb is like lettuce, right? It's like a type of, like, right? It looks like I lettuce. Have no I have sure. Literally have no idea what the fuck rhubarb is. I don't think I've ever eaten it in my life. <laughs> Wait, no, I've definitely had it on some salads, but it's always been, like, chopped up. Oh, is it that, that purple and white thing? Yeah. Those? Mm -hmm. Oh! Yeah, that's rhubarb. I think... Well, they're definitely not a leaf, then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, They yeah. might just be a really, like... Yeah, maybe they're, like, oh. carrots, almost? Or they're, like, yeah. Like, 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 they've got a thing? Yeah. They they're, like, roots. Yeah. Did you know, by the way, that... Oh, getting called by my friend, but I'm gonna talk to him later. Did you know, by the way, that, um... Uh... Palm trees are... Are not trees... They're they're just large bushes. Yes, they're they're large plants. Their um, their trunks don't have rings, um, and the, the the construction of them is not like bark and wood. It's more like a plant stem. So they are really? they are giant trees or giant so plants. But we just call them bushes. trees because it would. Yes. Bananas yeah. grow on bushes. Uh, yeah. I, I, I was pretty sure I knew that, yeah. but now I know why. Yeah. <laughs> now I know why I know that. Yeah, palm trees are not actually trees, but we just call them trees because it's way easier than their technical name, which is like some fucking like weird... Iridocyclitis. Iridocyclitis, like yeah. The sodium chloride. <laughs> it's it's something weird, That's but the, the construction of them is more like a plant stem. Mm -hmm. So they're just big-ass fucking plant stems. Oh, interesting. Which is cool. Yeah. It's so weird. Stuff like that just makes me realize, like, we have all those movies where we're like, oh, man, aliens are so weird. And then I look at it, and I'm like, no, we're weird. We're weird. Oh, do you have, like, freaking... There's deer that have scent glands on their faces that come out like this, and they look like aliens. They literally have that fleshy uh, scent glands that when they sniff, pop out like this, and they have, like, weird alien faces. And that's just a thing that we have. They're called, like... I don't know, shit deer or something. They're like some. They're called like some type of deer. I um, always. It's I, horrifying. I always love bringing up the fact that moose can swim, and are a, like a primary predator to yeah. like <laughs> aquatic life. Yeah, yeah, and hippopotamuses are like insane. That. They're monstrous. Yeah, they actually can't swim. Oh yeah, they just they hold just their breath. Sink. Yeah, they're so big they sink. Seriously? But their primary uh -huh. habitat is water. Yeah, yeah. A creature that can't swim's primary habitat is water. Mm -hmm. Is water, yeah. They're absurd. It's, yeah. It's so weird. Like, I always think about it, and I'm like, no, our planet is the alien planet. We have some weird shit here that mm -hmm. we think is normal, but it is not at all. <laughs> Or at least, like, we see, like, normal stuff. Like, yeah, snake makes sense. You know, fish makes sense. But then you see, like, freaking hippos and plant trees. Uh -huh. And it's like, what? And even off of snakes, like, there are snakes that can, like, ex like they're, they've are they sort of got, like, flaps on their sides and they can fly. Yeah. Yes. They, like, glide yes. from tree to tree. Yes. We have flying snakes. Yeah. And yeah. flying fish. Yeah. And squirrels. It's flying like, spiders. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
And we have things I don't like that to think about those. And things, we have but yeah, plants and animals that like mimic spot. Like a plant can mimic a bird. Like it'll grow itself to look like a bird. And it's like, how does the plant know to look like a bird? <laughs> the the plant can't see. Yeah. And I, I that's probably just because evolutionary it's traits that, or whatever. That nervous system. But like crazy. Though. Yeah, but then like animals that learn that like oh if I look like ah! a spider I won't get eaten. And it's like what, what the fuck. Oh. Whoa! Oh my God, he just killed himself. He just jumped off. Okay. Hell yeah, dude! Mammoth machine goes crazy. <laughs> Mammoth machine go hard. Uh, yo, he was just jumping here. into the blueberry cobbler. Shallow. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Damn, dinner time! I'm outie." Dude, it's dessert. Let me get some of that. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get some of that pie. Help! I'm in shock. Me. I'm fucking. I'm damn. Ow! And she being zapped. She do be. What are you doing, Shala? I need your help here. Getting electrocuted. Use the knife. Use the red knife. Yes, the thing that we got given by Melchior. Throw it. Equip. Here we go, Mune. Do it. Oh, yeah, the red knife is Masamune. It's the Masamune. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Yo! That, Whoa! That's what it was uh, embedded into. Oh, like the Sword and the Stone. It mm -hmm. was embedded into lava. Is that Lavos the right there? Machine. Oh, that's the Mammon machine. Yes. Okay. Cool. The sword alone can't stop it. Oh, I'm so right, glad this is we came. A, isn't this a futuristic thing? <laughs> yeah, in right. The past? We totally worked. We came and did everything, and it did not work. Yep, nope, nothing, did not nothing work. Worked. Yeah, because this was um, this was the past that was super futuristic, right? Because we find the Masamune in the future uh, yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, hello. hello. Oh shit! It's lava. Wait, is this the final boss? Uh. Hey, sure. Uh, it's interesting you say that. We're all dead. We're dead. Oh. Well, good fight, boys. Game over. Wow. Nice. End of series. Good game. Yeah, end of series. We're That's done. Good. Lavos wins. He also looks like a butthole monster. He I don't do. like that. Whoa. Hi, buddy. This gonna, is the professor. He's the wizard. He's going to fight the buff butthole monster. There he is. Whoa. There's he does wizard. have the same Magus. hair color. It's Magus. Yeah. Magus is the kid, bro. I'm telling you. It's an interesting theory. It does look like it. I swore long ago that I'd destroy you, no matter what the price. Fill my right. Fill my vow. Blah. Damn, 800. There's no way we would have been able to survive that. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. What if we dodged? Um, <laughs> it's a good question, actually. I doubt. I doubt you can dodge it. It's probably like a good. Sure yeah, hit. I think it's scripted. I love how they're like, yeah, we're the we're the heroes, snack. and then fucking lavas one shots. Yeah, us. pretty much. I can't believe they just watched all three of us get absolutely decimated, and they're like, I can still control it. Yeah. The Let's queen's, talk. The queen's a bitch. She's Let's a, talk while this giant uh, force of death sits quietly yes. behind us. Absolutely. Bunch of stupid idiots. Who who will you destroy? You will be destroyed. Help. Heal. Stop. Whoa. She, she just jumps on it. He just sticks his hand in his mouth, and Lavos explodes. He's Bunga. like, oh yeah. Bunga bunga. My power is oh shit! Trained. I won't be beaten. We will defeat you, Lavos. Uh, take, take this. Take this. Uh. He just punched him. He just punched him. Oh damn! Whoa! What? It doesn't work. Aww. Wah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm give him a little bite. A little nibble. Yeah. The measly power can't touch the Lavos weird is egg gross. with the face. I hope she gets eaten. She's gonna be like Lavos. And he's gonna be like. Mm. Wah ha ha ha! Nice little snack. Wah ha ha ha! Wah! Wah! It's like the one dude that did the thing, he's like, Wah! Wah! <laughs> Can you move, Wah. Venice? Please help shell us. Stand, Stand up! Venice. Hurry, no like lose. Venice is she's like, just keeling over and crying. Yeah, she's what, like, What does Man. Venice do? What do I do? I'm controlling Grab Venice. the ladies! Like, uh, hello, Lavos. Oh, damn. Haven't given him up yet. You challenge Lavos with that battered body of yours. Oh yeah. See the power of Lavos and feel his kiss him. Uh... What I you about to do? You. What you about to do? Oh shit! He's calling back the sword, dude. We're calling in the energy. Yo, he's. I'm Goku. I'm gonna call the spirit yeah, bomb. Yeah, he's assembling Give me the some energy. Of your energy. The Ding. floor's red now. Oh no! Nope, yes. Oh god. Woo! What the hell did he do, bro? Hey, dude, he's stopping Lavos. Is that a laser beam? And by stopping Lavos, I mean he's dead. What? <laughs> he's no, yeah, beam. he's dead. 
What? Bennis is dead. Bennis died? Bennis just died. What the fuck? Bennis is now dead. What? What did he summon? Uh, Chrono Trigger. He summoned the Chrono Trigger? No, he just died. Oh, damn. <laughs> he, pr- he protected everyone from the laser beam. Oh. Damn. Yeah. What did that accomplish? They live and he does not. Couldn't he just have moved out of the way? Then who's going to fight him? <laughs> Magus? Man, he's just dead. Just Chill, right? Nah, he's in the slipstream. Venice, he's Venice? inside lavas, no. fingering him from the inside. Jesus, <laughs> he'll he's, never see. He's gonna get him to come. He's gonna Ant Man him. <laughs> uh, lavos with your <laughs> lavusi. <laughs> oh, I've, I've hit the Nintendo. You hit the Nintendo. Not the snows. Oh. Not my Nintendo. My Nintendo. <laughs> Oh, my, my Super Nintendo 11. <laughs> Hell yeah. I paid for that with my graduation money. Oh, my own monies. I can't believe it. You hit the, you hit the controller. Oh. And that was like worth $5 less. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Oh god, they're dead. Oh yeah, and Shala just sent us away. Yeah. Shala's... Send them away. We died. Yep. Well, our party. Venice. Benis is there. Or is it Benis? I never got to find Benis. out. I never got to ask him what his name was. But I already knew it. How do you pronounce it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. He's shooting. He's shooting flame. A destructive wave. Oh, my God. Yeah. Goodbye. So we failed. Yeah. No, it's... it's, it's oh, yeah. Doesn't this play... T- this has multiple endings, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, we may or may not have kind of just destroyed a time period. <laughs> oh. Oh. Does, that, does that happen if we did things differently? Damn. Well, they were, they were yeah, dicks. Yeah, so we destroyed a time period. They were dicks anyway, they bro. They were kind of assholes. They were not cool at all. Yeah, this game has like 16 different endings, I think. Oof. That's a lot. Woo! I'd feel bad, but they were like kind of racist and weird. And they and they bullied these. People. But if it, if it yeah, kills the, these people, if it kills these right. guys though, that sucks. I mean, what you think? Just because there's a mountain falling? The sky is falling. Oh god! Oh yeah, there you go, Chicken Little. The tidal wave. Don't go out. Oh. Oh yeah, they're dead. Dude, it's like twenty five. Yep. Damn. I sure uh, wish I could have seen that. Yeah. How's, a how's lot everybody of, doing over there? Yeah, they're going to need a lot of likes Y'all and okay? prayers for that. Are you alive? I'm not. Scream scream once if you're okay, twice if you're not. <laughs> hmm. Silence. <laughs> that's that's Ooh. not an answer. <laughs> Please answer me. Please, say something. <laughs> say something. Benios. <laughs> Furry. When those two names are together, I'm sorry. Furry Benis. Furry Benis. No. no. Benyos. Bean. Benyo. Or Benis. Oh, damn. Vagu. Um. Um. Um, you're awake. That's not where that apostrophe yeah, goes. That's the, mm. Yeah, that's the... You're out awake. You're a... You're, you're awake. awake. You are delirious. Uh, She's like, no, where, I'm not. Yeah, where's stupid Benis? Idiot. We found nobody else. So it wasn't a dream. Where this? Earthbound Village? No, uh, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> you man. need to leave. No, this is Patrick. Oh, Metal Bird. Here we go. Malkior. Where Malkior? Yeah, so Malkior tried to save uh, Anus. He was dragged in. Yeah. Uh, so that's where Malkior gets teleported. Oh. So the, the, all the crap happens. Everything blows up. Melchior goes there, Balthazar goes wherever, and then yeah. the other dude I don't remember. Wow, that's weird. Chubb? Where Chubb? Who the Chubb fuck's alive? Chubb? Chubb's our uh, ship. Oh, it's yeah. The the teleport. Yeah, we named it Chubb. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It was originally called something cool. It was the Epoch. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> was, way it was cooler. cool. Vagru cry, make Ben is sad, Farino cry. Yup. Benis is gone. He's you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, Benis can't hear you. The pendant, oh. young lady. Young I found it on lady. your shoulder. 
Almost as if it were guarding you. It's a piece of jewelry, man. Chill out. Yeah, well, that just means we go back and find Venice and catch him up. Bring him back in. Kill him again. Yeah. Nick, uh... Is that exactly what's going to happen? You said yourself. Let's go. Uh, no. What, what did you say earlier? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Before, after that. <laughs> he He's stuck in Lavos. This game has multiple endings. Oh, yeah. And... Depending on what we do we now, blew changes up it. The, the Dark Ages, we ended in age by accident, and Venice just died. Mm. There are multiple endings. So we got the bad ending. Sick. Uh. Sick. Are we going to, like, individually kill every single party member? Uh. <laughs> it's funny you say that. <laughs> um, anyway. What time Damn. Is it? Uh, yeah, we were on 30 minutes. Well, that's All crazy. Right. We'll, um, catch you guys next time on a maybe sad playthrough. We'll see. And for anybody who's playing this game and, or has played this game and comments down there, please do not comment any spoilers. I want these guys to see the ending, or endings, um, in all their glory. Yeah, so, I'm really hyped. Alright, well, we'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Woo!